be able to kick it clear here to half forward. It's a bouncing ball, a little bit of a foot race. Who can get there first? It's Cranston. She swoops and she misses to the near side. Just lessens off a little bit. They'll be able to work their way into that 50. So Paxman with the runoff half back and then kicks to an open 50. Who will get back there? Oh, oh. going in hard wow. was wow. Cranston. And Three. she has collected the Brisbane Lions player, Jamie Stanton, heavily. Comes out the way of Ashmore. Quick little kick, hurried kick. It falls to the top of the goal square. Under the pump is Paxman. They move it nicely. Quick hands here by the Ds. Hickey's fighting in there. So too Paxman. Hickey puts her body on the line. Squirts out the side. Paxman goes again. So too does Scott O'Day. Back to Paxman. This is scrappy stuff. And the Brisbane Lions trying to press, trying to win the ball. Back to Paxman again. Kicks it clear. Yeah, it's getting a little windier out there. Might, rain might have stopped, but the dark clouds are looming. And two minutes to play in this opening turn. When you've got the, the blustery conditions on the ground, the, these conditions are really tough. Loops the handball to Pierce. This is a better build up from the D's, although the kick wasn't great. And it lands in the hands of Shannon Campbell, one of the better kicks in the team for the Lions. Oh, this could be costly, 50 metres. So it could bring Shannon Campbell to within distance. Normally a defender. Technically, the coach says, the best kick in the team. So we've given her a big rap, Shannon Good Campbell. Hit. And she delivers. First goal of the game. It was a long time coming. And they celebrate in style, the Brisbane Lions. You know, tackles and, and also evading. Um, so those those kicks that she'll do inside 50 will start to hit. And she's got, I think she's got the best delivery in the league. Oh, an awkward little kick. And it's picked up by Jazzy, Jazzy Grierson, Grierson. With snaps truly. Well done. They've been peppering and peppering the demons. And the 18-year-old Jasmine Grierson plays for Cranbourne. So plenty of family and friends here, no doubt, this afternoon, and a moment that she won't forget. So the thunder has struck. The Demons leading by four points, just a goal each with about three minutes to play. Uh, let's get down to Nerily. Yeah, they've just called it off at the moment with the lightning strikes above Kelly. The emergency umpire has just blown the whistle and pulled the girls off the ground. So there are obviously concerns for health and safety whenever there is lightning around. So it's an early end to the half. As the girls get a massive applause just coming off, which is just fantastic as well. Hopefully we'll be back out here without any further issues for the rest of the game because it's been a cracking contest so far, especially considering the conditions. Well, let's get down, just find out exactly what is happening. Happening. We know that the AFL officials are trying to work it out. We don't know whether it is official confirmation that it's half-time here. Nerily Meadows with the latest. It's a little bit confusing, Kelly, but basically it's the half-time break, but it's not quite half-time yet. We've got three more minutes of that second quarter to play. What will happen is after the break, they will bring out the girls and they will play that extra three minutes at the complete of that three minutes they will then stop change ends so just a little mini break in there and play the second half so it's the lengthy halftime break but we quite haven't quite made it to that halftime of the actual game so this officially is not the halftime score this is the score for the little mini break and that's where the game was halted in that area of the ground hence the umpires will ball it up not in the center circles and we will play the final three and a bit minutes of this opening half and then a one minute break so back underway which team can regain its composure and focus and switch on and maybe score a vital goal in this final three minutes before the official halftime break it's like a game of rugby union in there at the moment a real scrimmage fires out Phillips can't quite pick it up dumped in the tackle there for the demons was Clifford comes out the way of Zilke really great at ground level there Zilke and to Pierce kick was smothered by Zilke the two captains going toe to toe and this has been picked off Alliance in Kasla takes off Bouncing ball of Frederick Traub, the marquee. She spins, she shoots, she scores. She loves the goal and she's absolutely pumped up the marquee, the 20 year old from Western Australia. And I can tell you an update on the crowd. They believe it is over six and a half thousand people. And that means it takes us past the 50,000 mark for round one of the AFLW. Amazing. Oh. Start.
And this is clearly high Jaray on Frederick Traub. And she's a little slow to get up. Has she got 50 in her wet boot? That's the question. And here she is making her debut in the AFL women's competition and juggling a mark and let's, she'll have another go at it. Let's hope she just goes north to 30 now because I, she should learn from this. That's, that's a better kick. So a high up and under. She asks her forwards to fly and they do just that at the back. Can anyone get boot to ball? Former Tassie girl puts it on the left out in front of Bates. How does it sit? She does well to pick it up, get down low, an awkward half volley, unable to pick it up. Downey's backing back tackled. In fact, it was Pierce playing in the ruck for the Ds. And she's been pinked here. Great tackle applied by Gibson. Can she extend the Lions lead and put them out by nine? It's through. There's the Lions again, capitalising when they've had an opportunity in the forward 50. I mean, they're, they're a chance of winning this game purely because they're getting goals on the board. And that'll come from their captain, Emma Zilke, as well, just yep. to play tempo footy. Uh, oh, what's got... happened here? Is that a 50? A 50's oh, been that's paid. A second. That's so, a second as the game's spot... Very undisciplined. Oh, that, that's not, not acceptable. And it's going to take Kate McCarthy well, in these all the way to within scoring distance. Chance here for Kate McCarthy, former ex-Aussie touch player. Should be in Sydney playing for the Sydney Sevens. Instead, maybe the knee buckler at Cranbourne. The Brisbane Lions now out to a 15-point lead, and it makes life tough for the Ds.